Well, hi there everyone, welcome to Friday night's Answer Smash Quiz. Uh, 50 quick fire questions, 10 rounds of 5, so 10 different categories, point for each. Uh, I'm going to leave the live chat on as well during this, unlike the other quizzes, just because we'll be going the answers as we go along. So it's quite quick fire, lasts about half an hour or so, um, so it shouldn't take up too much of your time on a Friday night. Uh, there'll be a little break, a little two minute break after the fifth round, uh, just for you to stretch your legs or to grab a drink, and then the remaining five rounds after that. But I think without further ado, we'll get straight on with the quiz. And the first round this week in Answer Smash is Fruit and Veg. Fruit and Veg. And the first question is What is a chemical element with the atomic number three? It is a soft, silvery white alkali metal. And for any of you who aren't unsure how to play the game, you combine the answer to the picture on the left with the clue to the answer on the right. So you combine in the picture and then the text clue, combine them into one word. And in this case, the answer we're looking for would be broccolithium. Broccolithium. Broccoli and lithium smashed together to make one word. All the answers are like this. It's all the same formats. Question two. What was a British soap opera created by Tony Holland that ran for only one year, set in the fictional town of Los Barcos in Spain? What was a British soap opera created by Tony Holland set in the fictional town of Los Barcos in Spain? Now we'll go through the first couple of rounds a little bit slower just to uh, get the hang of things. But as I say, it should take about half an hour, five rounds, and we'll have a quick break, and then the remaining five rounds. But the answer to this one is Fennel Dorado. Fennel Dorado. Question three in Fruit and Veg. Who is a British television presenter, writer and speaker on horticulture, best known for presenting the BBC television series Gardener's World? Simply combine the picture with the answer to the clue, making one a smashed together word. And the answer to this one is Le Monty Don. Le Monty Don. Fourth one in Fruit and Veg. Who was an English novelist who wrote romance novels, one of the best-selling authors as well as one of the most prolific and commercially successful worldwide of the 20th century? English novelist who wrote romance novels, one of the most prolific and commercially successful worldwide in the 20th century. And the answer to that one is Rhubarbra Cartland. Rhubarbra Cartland. Then, moving on to the last one in Fruit and Veg. What is one of the Sunda Islands of Western Indonesia? It is the largest island that is entirely Indonesian territory and the sixth largest island in the world. And the answer to that one is Satsumatra. Satsumatra. So that ends the first round, all quite quick fire. Uh, so there'll be five rounds before we have a quick break, so let's just go straight into round two. And round two is rock bands. Rock bands. First rock band. What is a German brand of laundry detergent manufactured and marketed by Henkel around the world and in the United Kingdom where it was manufactured and marketed by Unilever? German laundry detergent manufactured by Henkel around the world, but manufactured and marketed by Unilever in the UK. And the answer to that one is the Red Hot Chili Peppersal. The Red Hot Chili Peppersal. Question two in Rock Bands. What is a short-form improvisational comedy show originating as a popular British radio programme before moving to British television? A short-form comedy show originating as a radio programme before moving to British television. And the answer to that one is, the whose line is it anyway? The whose line is it anyway? Moving on to the next question in rock bands. What is a common name applied to a number of different species of pelagic fish, mostly from this family Scumbradae? They are found in both temperate and tropical seas, mostly living along the coast or offshore in the oceanic environment. 
Long question to combine with the band on the left. Common name of a species of fish found in temperate and tropical seas. And the answer to that one is Fleetwood Mackerel. Fleetwood Mackerel. That's my favourite one so far. There are a few slightly better than that, but that's the favourite so far. Moving on to the fourth one in rock bands. In a car, what is any transparent visual aid that presents data without requiring users to look away from their usual viewpoints? In a car, what is any transparent visual aid that presents data without requiring users to look away from their usual viewpoints? And the answer to that one is radio heads-up display, or radio head-up display, either or. Moving on to the last one in the rock bands category. What saying refers to the learning of a process without an understanding of why it works? Another definition implies the act of mimicry, usually with limited knowledge and or concern for the consequences. Slightly longer question, that one. What saying reflects, refers to the learning of a process without an understanding of why it works? or the act of mimicry usually with limited knowledge and or concerns for the consequences. So in these examples sometimes the answer to the clue might be harder than maybe the band, but because the two are combined one might naturally lead to the other. And the answer to this one is Arctic monkey say monkey do. Arctic monkey say monkey do. So that takes us to the end of rock bands, we're two rounds in already, I move on to round three, which is flags. Now in this category, simply guess the flag of the country on the left and combine it with the answer to the clue on the right. First flag. What is a song written by Hal David and Burt Bacharach for the 1969 film Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? It won an Oscar for Best Original Song. A song written by Hal David and Burt Bacharach for Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, which won an Oscar for Best Original Song. So the opposite might be true in this category, where the answer to the clue might be easier than the flag, certainly for some of them. A little bit more thinking time on these ones, they are slightly trickier. But the answer to the first one is Bahrain raindrops keep falling on my head. Bahrain raindrops keep falling on my head. And the second flag. What is a major British multinational retailer with headquarters in London, England that specialises in selling clothing, home products and food products? Combine that with the flag of the country on the left, or the country, sorry, of the flag on the left. And the answer to that one is Denmark's and Spencer. Denmark's and Spencer. Third one in the flags category. What is typically a portable electronic device used to perform sums ranging from basic arithmetic to complex mathematics? What is a portable electronic device used to perform sums from basic arithmetic to complex mathematics? And the answer to that one is a South Africa calculator. A South Africa calculator. Two to go in the flags category. Question four. Who was an English singer, songwriter and actor who rose to fame during the late 1970s, during the punk and new wave era of rock music? He was the lead singer in his band, The Blockheads. So again, the answer on the right might be easier than the flag, but either answer gives a clue to the other. So hopefully you get the smash. And the answer to this one is Saudi Arabian Jewry. Saudi Arabian Jewry. Saudi Arabia and Ian Jewry. Which brings us to the last one in the flags category. Born in 1928, Huben is an American film director, screenwriter and producer. He is frequently cited as one of the most influential filmmakers in cinematic history. 
American film director and producer, cited as one of the most influential in cinematic history. Now this is up there with Fleetwood Mackerel. And the answer to this one is Paki Stanley Kubrick. Paki Stanley Kubrick. So that brings us to the end of the Flags round. Just two more rounds before we have a break. Round four, TV stars. And the first one in TV stars is... What, or should say, what is, what's the capital and largest city of Barbados? What's the capital and largest city of Barbados? And the answer to that one is Phoebe Waller Bridgetown. Phoebe Waller Bridgetown. Second one in TV stars is... What is a medicine taken or given to counteract a particular poison? What's the name for a medicine taken or given to counteract a particular poison? And the answer to that one is David David Ten Antidote. David Tennant and Antidote. David Ten Antidote. Third one in TV stars is what is the largest city of Morocco, located in the central western part of Morocco, bordering the Atlantic Ocean? What is the largest city of Morocco, situated in the central western part, bordering the Atlantic Ocean? Combine that with the TV star on the left. And you should have got the answer, Matt Lucasablanca. Matt Lucasablanca. Two to go in the TV stars category. Number four is, what is Shakespeare's romantic story about Helena in love with the unloving Bertram and the lengths she'll go to to make it work? What is Shakespeare's romantic story about Helena in love with the unloving Bertram and the lengths she'll go to to make it work? a little bit more thinking time on that one slightly trickier one but the answer to that one is Jack Whitehall's well that ends well Jack Whitehall, Whitehall's well that ends well and the last one in TV stars what is a wholesale and retail market hall in Southwark London England it is one of the largest and oldest food markets in London what is a wholesale and retail market hall in Southwark London it is one of the largest and oldest food markets in London. And the answer to that one is David Attenborough Market. David Attenborough Market. So that's the end of that round. One more round now, round five before we have a break. And round five this week is Children's TV. And the first one in children's TV is... Who served as the 67th United States Secretary of State from 2009 to 13 and as a First Lady of the United States from 1993 to 2001? Who served as Secretary of State in the US from 2009 to 13 and as First Lady from 1993 to 2001? And the answer to that one is Grange Hillary Clinton. Grange Hillary Clinton. Brings us on to number two in children's TV. What was a BBC children's television series originally broadcast between 1965 and 1996? It was designed to stimulate an interest in reading, often with celebrity readers. BBC children's series that was designed to stimulate an interest in reading, often with celebrity readers. Combine that with the children's show on the left as well. And you should have got the answer, Cracker Jack and Ori. Cracker Jack and Ori. Number three in children's TV. What is a genus of herbivorous lizards that are native to the tropical areas of Mexico, Central America, South America and the Caribbean? A genus of lizards that are native to tropical areas of Mexico, Central America, South America and the Caribbean.
And the answer to that one is Pepper Piguana. Pepper Piguana. Brings us to the fourth one in children's TV. What is a landmark building in Brussels, originally constructed for the 1958 Brussels World's Fair, Expo 58? Landmark building in Brussels, constructed for the 58 Brussels World Fair, Expo 58. And the answer to that one is Postman Patomium. Postman Patomium. Postman Pat and the Atomium. And that brings us to the last one in round five and the last question before the break. What is the common stage name of Yusuf Islam, who is a British singer-songwriter and multi-instrumentalist? His musical style consists of folk, pop, rock, and in his later career, Islamic music. Common stage name of Yusuf Islam, British singer-songwriter, his styles consist of folk, pop, rock, and later career Islamic music. And the answer to that one is Thundercat Stevens. Thundercat Stevens. So that brings us to the end of the first five rounds here on Smash the Answer. We'll now have a quick two minute break for you to go and grab a drink, let the dog out, whatever you need to do. But we'll then we'll be back in two minutes for the last five rounds. The live chat is open throughout this quiz as well because we're marking as we go along, going at quite a speed. Um, so do put any comments in there or any amusing answers. Uh, if you think anything beats Fleetwood Mackerel, then do let me know. But say two minutes on the clock now and then we'll come back and do the remaining five rounds. Okay, so that's a very quick two minute break, just to grab a drink, stretch your legs, whatever you need to do. Uh, so that's five rounds down, and then further five rounds to go. So 25 points in total so far, and a further 25 points to come. So a maximum of 50 points, I think a score of 35 or 40, anywhere in that sort of region, 35 plus would be a very, very good score. Anything above 30, good, but uh, let's see how we get on, and we'll move into round six, which this week is cosmetics, cosmetics. And the first one in cosmetics is What five word phrase usually follows the introductory lines umpa umpa popular with comedians? What five word phrase usually follows the introductory lines umpa umpa 
popular with comedians. A little bit more thinking time on these just to get back after that two minute break. But the answer to this one is lipstick it up your jumper. Lipstick it up your jumper. Moving on to question two in cosmetics. Who in olden times collected unwanted household items and sold them to merchants? Traditionally, this was a task performed on foot with the scavenged materials kept in a small bag slung over the shoulder. Who in olden times collected and unwanted household items and sold them to merchants? Traditionally performed on foot, with the scavenged materials kept in a small bag slung over the shoulder. And the answer to that one is a mascar rag and bone man. Mascar rag and bone man. Question three in cosmetics. What is a colloquial name for a device used to assist in the picking up and collecting of dog mess? Hmm, what is a colloquial name for a device used to assist in the picking up and collecting of dog mess? Combine that with the cosmetic that's being shown on the left or represented. And combine the two together, you get a shampoo per scooper. Shampoo per scooper. Again, that's up there with Fleetwood Mac I think. Question four in cosmetics is Who is a fictional character in the sitcom The Munsters, originally played by Fred Gwynn? The patriarch of the household hears an entity much like Frankenstein's monster. A little bit of thinking time on that one. Character in the Munsters, the patriarch of the household, much like Frankenstein's monster. Combine that with the cosmetic. And you should have Blush Herman Munster. Blush Herman Munster. Last one in the cosmetics category is What is a port city on Belgium's River Scheldt, with history dating to the Middle Ages? In its centre, the century-old diamond district houses thousands of diamond traders, cutters and polishers. Belgian city, dating back to the Middle Ages, famous for diamond cutters, polishers and traders. And the answer to that one is Deodorantwerp. Deodorantwerp. That's the end of that round. We'll move on to the next round, which this week is Cities. Cities. Recognise the picture of the city, combine it with the clue. So the first city is... Who is a British Conservative Party politician who has served as Chancellor of the Exchequer since February 2020 and has been the Member of Parliament for Richmond since the 2015 general election? Who is the current Chancellor of the Exchequer and Member of Parliament for Richmond since 2015? And the answer to the first city one, Parishi Sunak. Parishi Sunak. Second city. Commonly known as Holy Island, what is a tidal island off the northeast coast of England? Commonly known as Holy Island, what is a tidal island off the northeast coast of England? Combine that with the city on the left. And you should get the answer, Berlindisfarne. Berlindisfarne. 
Third one in cities. What is an American multinational manufacturer and marketer of prestige skincare, makeup, fragrance, and hair care products? What is an American multinational manufacturer and marketer of prestige skincare, makeup, fragrance, and hair care products? Slightly trickier this one. Both parts quite tricky. So a little bit longer to play along with this at home if you're discussing it with friends or family. But the answer to this one, just to keep it moving along, is Budapest Day Lauder. Budapest Day Lauder. Very well done if you got that one. Very well done. Question four in cities. What is an online estate agent which operates in the UK, Canada and Germany, founded in 2012 by Michael Bruce and Kenny Bruce? What is an online estate agent which operates in the UK, Canada and Germany, founded in 2012 by Michael and Kenny Bruce? Combine that with the city on the left. And the answer to that one is Kuala Lumpur Bricks. Kuala Lumpur Bricks. Just one more to go in the cities category, and it is. What is a 1975 horror novel by American author Stephen King? It was his second published novel. Combine that with the city pictures on the left, and a 75 horror novel by Stephen King, his second published novel. And the answer to the last one here in the city's category was Jerusalem's Lot. Jerusalem's Lot. So that's the end of round seven. We come into round eight, which is birds. First bird. What city on the coast of Iceland is the country's capital and largest city? It's home to the National and Saga Museums, tracing Iceland's Viking history. Combine that with the bird on the left. Some of these, it may be the word clue is easier than recognising the bird, but the two obviously do link together. And the answer to the first one in birds is Osbreykivik. Osbreykivik. Second one in birds. Who is the titular character or titular character of a legend acting back to the Middle Ages? The earliest references describe a man dressed in multicoloured clothing who was a rat catcher hired by the town to lure rats away with his magic pipe. Who is a character from the Middle Ages described as a multicoloured clothed man who was a rat catcher hired by the town to lure rats away with his magic pipe? Slightly longer answer this one, so a few more seconds more to write it down. But the answer to this one is the Magpied Piper of Hamelin. Magpied Piper of Hamelin. Moving on to the third one in the birds category. Nice quick one. What is the debut single by British girl group The Spice Girls? What is the debut single by British girl group The Spice Girls?
And the answer to that one is Swanaby. Swanaby. Two to go in the birds category. Who is an American band formed in New Jersey in 1964 by brothers Robert Cool Bell and Ronald Bell, with Dennis D.T. Thomas, Robert Spike Mickens, Charles Smith, George Brown and Ricky West? What's the name of that band combined with the bird on the left? And this could be up there with Fleetwood Mackerel, I think. Uh, the answer to this one is Cuckoo and the Gang. Cuckoo and the Gang. Moving on to the last one in the birds category. What is a hand gesture com commonly used to wish for luck? Occasionally it is interpreted as an attempt to implore God for protection. What is a hand gesture commonly used to wish for luck? Occasionally it is interpreted as an attempt to implore God for protection. Combined with that bird on the left. And the answer to this one, the last one in the birds round, Puffingers crossed. Puffingers crossed. So, two rounds to go. Round nine this week is Famous Pauls. All the pictures you see will be people called Paul, and it's there combined with the text on the right. So, our first Famous Paul. Who is a can cartoon anthropomorphic bird that has appeared in theatrical short films produced by the Walter Lance Studio and distributed by Universal? Who is a cartoon anthropomorphic bird that has appeared in theatrical short films produced by Waterland Studio and distributed by Universal? Combine that with the Paul on the left. And you would get the answer for our first famous Paul to be Paul Hollywoody Woodpecker. Paul Hollywoody Woodpecker. Second famous Paul. What is the 18th K-pop single by the South Korean musician Psy? The song was released on July the 15th, 2012 as the lead single of his sixth studio album. Combine that with the Paul on the left. A lot of information in the text clue, but uh, I'm not sure how many songs people know by Psy. And the answer to this one is Paul Ho Gangnam Style. Paul Ho Gangnam Style. Paul Hogan and Gangnam Style. Our third famous Paul is... What is a stringed musical instrument in the lute family and is usually plucked with a plectrum? It commonly has four courses of doubled metal strings tuned in unison, although five and six course versions also exist. Combine that with the Paul. Stringed musical instrument in the lute family. And the answer to our third famous Paul is Paul New Mandolin. Paul New Mandolin. Moving on to our fourth famous Paul. What is a traditional folk song that tells of a life gone wrong in New Orleans? Many versions also urge a sibling or parents and children to avoid the same fate. Folk song that tells of a life gone wrong in New Orleans. Many versions urging parents and children to avoid the same fate.
Again, slightly longer on this one if you're writing it down. But the answer to this famous poll is Paul Whitehouse of the Rising Sun. Paul Whitehouse of the Rising Sun. Which brings us to our last famous poll. What's a children's game for three or more players? One player takes the role of leader and issues instructions, usually physical actions such as jump in the air or stick out your tongue, to the other players, which should be followed only when prefaced with the correct phrase. What's a children's game for three or more players? One player takes the role of leader and issues instructions, usually actions such as jump in the air or stick out your tongue to the other players, which should be followed only when prefaced with the correct phrase. Combine that with the famous Paul on the left. And you should get, even after all that text, a fairly simple answer. Paul Simon says. Paul Simon says. So that brings us to round 10, the last round of today's quiz, and it is tools. And the first question in the tools category is, who is an American actress often described as the best actress of her generation? She is particularly known for her versatility and accents, nominated for a record 21 Academy Awards. She has won three. Combine that with the tool on the left. And the answer to the first one in tools would be Hammerall Streep. Hammerall Streep. Second one in the tools category. What is a sweetened frozen food, typically eaten as a snack or dessert? It is flavoured with a sweetener, either sugar or an alternative, and any spice, such as cocoa or vanilla. A sweetened frozen dessert, flavoured with sweetener and any spice, such as cocoa or vanilla. Again, quite a long description for what quite is quite a simple smash together answer. The answer is vice cream. Vice cream. Three to go in this round and the quiz as a whole. Who is an English stage, film, and television actress known for her roles as Valerie Barlow in Coronation Street, Jean in Dinner Ladies, and her BAFTA nominated role as Celia Dawson in Last Tango in Halifax? Combine that with the tool on the left. Slightly trickier than this one as well, to try and guess the actress's name. But in all those roles she's been. Valerie Barlow in Coronation Street, Jean in Dinner Ladies, and a BAFTA-nominated role as Celia Dawson recently in Last Tango in Halifax. Combine those two though, and you would get the answer Span Reed. Spanner and Anne Reed. Span Reed. Two to go in the round and the quiz. Who is a Scottish virtuoso multi percussionist performing internationally with a wide variety of orchestras and contemporary musicians? She was selected as one of the two laureates for the Polar Music Prize of 2015. Combine that with the tool on the left. And combine that Scottish virtuoso, virtuoso, sorry, percussionist. And 
And the answer to that one is Spirit Levelin Glenny. Spirit Levelin Glenny. So on to the last question in the round and the quiz as a whole. What is a Grade 2 listed retail premises on Oxford Street in London? It was designed by Daniel Burnham and opened in 1909. A Grade 2 listed retail premises on Oxford Street in London, designed by Daniel Burnham, opened in 1909. And combine that with the tool on the left. And the answer to that one is Chiselfridges. Chisel and Selfridges. Chis Selfridges. So that brings us to the end of the quiz there. That's the 50 questions all over. So wonder what scores you got. Uh, I'll leave the live chat open now for a few more minutes if you want to write your scores down. I say anything 30 plus would be very good. Anything above 35, very, very good. It's always a little bit tricky. Uh, but uh, do subscribe to me here on YouTube or follow me on Twitter if you want any more information about any more up-and-coming quizzes. But as I say, I'll leave the live chat on for a few more minutes now just for you to write down your scores, any other comments and some of your favourite answers. If anything can beat Fleetwood Mackerel or Cracker Jack and Ori, let me know what your favourite ones were and I'll see you again next week. Cheers now.